I guys feel things go over. Maybe All right, boys, welcome in to Sim Racing Authority's race here at the Chicago Land Speedway as we get ready for 100 laps and 150 miles here at the 1.5 mile Chicago Land Speedway. Hopefully, you're having a great night so far. Chris Scallop here in the booth with you as we get ready to do some racing. Let's look at your starting lineups. Jeremy Dominique going to win the pole. 31.864 seconds. David Chuck going to start second, 31.928. Ogan Clamp and Eric Sable, Bobby Chaney. Going to be your top five. Uh, Aaron Davis going to start in the sixth position with Austin Roberts in seventh. Tyler Ducharme in eighth. Marcus Richardson in ninth. And Nick Caressel going to start in the tenth position. That's not supposed to be happening. Do, do, do. Stand by a second. Again, going to be a, a fun race here. I was watching them in practice. They were slipping and sliding everywhere with this setup. Going to have a lot of interesting cars in this race. And it uh, should be a lot of fun coming up here very shortly. That yeah, looks a lot better. Uh, let's see. Uh, Connor Blaze going to start 11th. Nick Northrup 12th. Jason Brizick going to start in 13th. Kyle McCormick 14th. Jake Nichols going to start in 15th with Cameron Meyer. Eric Brantley, Brian Roberts, e, or Brian Ray, and Randy Roberts. Brian Roberts, a baseball player. All going to be your starting field here at the Chicago Land Speedway. Truck season been very, very, very well competitive. And I think we're going to see the same thing tonight here at Sim Racing Authority. Should be a lot of fun coming up. And going to be 100 laps. As we only have three races to go in this uh, season, guys. So this should be really, really good, especially for those who are battling for that Truck Series Championship which entering this race being led by Marcus Richardson by 49 points. Pace car going to pull off again. 100 laps of racing here at Chicago Land Speedway. Green, green, green. Let's go racing. Clamp it on the inside of Dominique down the back straightaway. David Shutt, the hometown guy, he's from this area. Up there in the third position, Bobby Cheney, who some said during practice might be the guy to watch in this race. There in the fourth position, the 66 back there being driven by Eric Sable as they complete lap one. It's going to be Logan Clamp it leading lap one. Clamping going to clear high. Bobby Cheney, you look inside now. Oh, Dominique almost running in the back of Clamp, and he gets out of shape. Shot has to get out of the gas. Sable gets out of the gas. That's going to let Cheney go to second. Everybody bobbling up. Brizick loose. Pizza truck there, number six, Austin Roberts. 
Doing a great job so far. Able to check on the last second there. That's the reason why it delayed me for getting on the air real quickly. I was actually checking to make sure there wasn't any new Chicagoland uh, cameras for my friend Douglas Beard. And by God, there were. So I loaded them in real quick, and here we are. And as always, he does a great job with them. So appreciate Douglas Beard helping us out. Also, uh, Global Sim Racing Channel for uh, helping with uh, the purchases of these uh, tracks to get the cameras for him set up. Ducharme on the move. Here's the 69 inside. Looking underneath the six, Marcus Richardson back down to two, looking to make a move also. Oh, trouble, Brian Ray in the grass, along with Eric Brantley. Brian's going straight to pit road. Brantley going back to the track. Let's, uh, Ray goes behind the wall, let's see what happened. Got the 10 truck there of uh, Nick Northrup, the skull truck. Oh, Brantley gets loose, gets that wall, and he's going to get right into Brian Ray, and they're going to go wrecking. Well, there you go. Jeremy Dominique off to a pretty good sizable lead here. There's Clampett, Cheney, David Shunt, Ballow, and Eric Sable. That is fourth and fifth. Everybody trying to different lines out, getting a feel for this track. Clamp and trying to high side out, see how it works. A lot of drafting involved here is Aaron Davis. There's Marcus Richardson. He's inside of Tyler Duchard. Back there, Jake Nichols in the Metro Motorsports car inside of Nick Caressel for position. Oh, Marcus gets loose to Charm in the wall. He goes spinning. Oh, Nichols clobbers him. And a rare mistake by Marcus. And no caution still out. As, oh, here comes Brantley through the grass once again. We're having all kinds of issues here in turn one, or uh, turn four coming off of four. In the, uh, the, wow, the front stretch area. There we go. Eight laps complete so far, and that battle for the lead starting to heat up as Logan Clampett. That high line is working for him. There you see the wounded truck of Ducharme coming off of turn two. He'll probably work his way to pit road. Meanwhile, David shot in a battle. Eric Sable, Bryant, or uh, Brian, Bobby Cheney. I'm not having a good night so far. And the battle for the lead is on. Clampett to the inside. As Tyler Ducharme makes it to pit road for an unscheduled pit stop with the incident. And the 04 of Logan Clampett going to go to the front. Meanwhile, Aaron Davis trying to get underneath Bobby Cheney now as both Sable and Shutt have cleared. And that Coca-Cola Dale Jr. special on the inside. Ooh, Shutt pushes him down there a little bit. That truck's going to get a little loose. See a little bit of damage on that 42 on that right side already. That could be causing some issues. All right, you see Logan clamping out to a pretty good sizable lead. Jeremy Dominique there in the second position. You see Ducharme still on pit road as we arrive at Eric Stable. Wow, look how loose he is. Holy moly. Sable there in the third position. 
Gets down that apron. That's not going to help your truck out. I've had some kind of issues happening during the uh, pre-race. Was uh, ready to broadcast the race coming up, and all of a sudden my computer goes offline. It just shuts off. So I had to reboot back on, get everything up and flowing. So if you're seeing a little technical errors, it's me. That's why. If you're just joining us, you're watching Sim Racing Authority here in the WKD Knuckle Deep Truck Series from the Chicago Land Speedway and for Racers Only TV. Appreciate you guys watching. The battle on back here. This is fourth, fifth, and sixth, I believe. Marcus Richardson on the move. Started about mid pack. Actually, fifth, sixth, and seventh, I should say. Aaron Davis in here with David Shutt. Wow, well, Shutt getting pushed up in the wall a little bit there. Not gonna be thrilled about that one too much. But these trucks starting to get pretty spread out here. As Mark is gonna move up to the top five. Shut and Davis falling out. There's a pretty sweet looking number six pizza truck. From Austin Roberts. There's Nick Caressel. And there goes Caressel. Nice save on his end is Brantley's on pit road. There's a 10 truck driven by Nick Northrup tonight. Honor Blaze there in the 57, running in 11th. Jason Brizick back here in the 12th position. He had a little issue earlier, but able to save it. Back here is the 21 of Cameron Meyer, the 13th position. Randy Roberts in the 9 back here in 14th. Kyle McCormick is not in this race. So Jake Nichols actually at 15th. And then Brantley, Ducharme, and Ray. Currently uh, Ducharme, there he is on the track still. Ray, uh, Ray is behind the wall, and Brantley on pit road right now. So... That is who is on the track. Because we have 16 laps complete already, all caution free. Without, I would say incident free, but that hasn't been the case either. As you see, Bobby Chaney trying to catch Eric Sable here. This is for the fourth position. Oh, Sable's loose. Wow. Where I'm from, that's a tank slapper, boys. Sable almost getting a run back on him in turn one there in that 66 truck. Here's Aaron Davis to the inside of David Shut for position. Davis there in that one, usually drives a 20. Tonight in a one. See everybody going by that lap truck of Tyler Ducharme. Mark is getting loose off too. Sable definitely having issues with that truck. He's probably burned off those rear tires already. Wow, Clampett gets loose off too. That was close. A lot of these trucks getting out of shape. Don't know if that's just them wearing their tires off from driving hard or... What the deal is, either way, a lot of these trucks breaking loose here off of, especially turn four. Look at this gaggle. Austin Roberts coming into the picture. He has caught the one truck. Austin up to the seventh position. He just passed it. David Shutt, who's falling back with that damage on his rear. That right side. Austin probably driving with a little bit of anger today as Dolphins losing at the last second. The Bobby Cheney's Packers. I don't know if they had any kind of deal in place, but. He 
You see him going by the lap truck of Ducharme, and, and Roberts going to drive it in there. But not able to make the move. Meanwhile, Sable to the inside. He must have got loose again off, too. He's got some rear damage. Look at that right rear. That thing's been in the wall. Davis going to clear Sable, and Sable is sideways again. Trying to save it, trying to save it, trying to save it. And does. This setup is not being nice to people tonight. Meanwhile, back up at the front, there's Clampett leading Dominique. That 34 Raynex track at lap 23. Don't want to say these words, but it has been all caution free here tonight so far. A 1.1 second lead. Clampett has over Dominique. Bobby Chaney in third. Marcus trying to chase him down. They're about three and a half, four seconds back. Equal right rear damage on that truck. So, like I said, a lot of these trucks are getting damaged in that wall from getting loose or just sliding up the track. But these uh, trucks definitely not handling the best. There's Caresso. He's got a little damage on that right rear, too. I mean, you can see all that. The, I mean, just the crinkleness on the deck lid and stuff. Brizik in the 91. He is in the 11th position. Doesn't look like he's got really any damage at all. Northrop there in the 10. He's got a little bit of right front. You just see where most of these trucks got some damage from some way, somehow. <laughs> Trucks should only need one pit stop, about 50 to 55 on a tank of fuel when it's all said and done here. Randy Roberts with some issues. He's in the grass in the infield. And he's able to get that nine truck back going, even though diet's slow, but he's getting there. And you see no caution on the track still. Wow, Ducharme is loose now. He saves it, I think. And Sable with issues. The 66 off the pace. And back on track. Two trucks not having any kind of issues at all right now. That 04, Logan Clampett continuing to lead. Dominique, Bobby Chaney doing a great job, and Marcus Richardson trying to care. As these guys are about four and a half to five seconds back from the leader. Got some racing coming up for you the next couple of days. Be ready. Uh, actually, coming up after this, you might have noticed uh, earlier I was practicing at Charlotte. Uh, that is because I'm as soon as I'm done with this, I'm jumping over to uh, the Charlotte NIS race. I'm going to run that coming up here uh, after this. So uh, definitely hope you can stick around for that as we got unscheduled stops for Sable and Roberts. Randy, that is. We'll be doing that immediately afterwards. So make sure you come join me, cheer me on at Charlotte. I really have some confidence in that track. I really enjoy racing there and... 
I don't know. I just got to go out there and be patient and not kill the car, and I should be okay in the end. So that will be coming up here uh, as soon as this race is over. Tomorrow night, the Gen 6 at Charlotte for the Sim Racing Authority. I've already told him, and I'm going to say it to you guys now. I am entering that race because I feel like, again, I might have a shot to win it, and I'm going to go have fun. So look for the number 7 or whatever number I am in this league. On track with Sim Racing Authority again coming up here uh, tomorrow night at Charlotte. And we'll broadcast that race probably, we'll have to see, it'll either be Monday night or sometime later this week. We'll have to keep you up to date with that. Tuesday, trucks, or uh, the V-Car, I should say, JTC Series, going to be at Bristol. We'll have that race for you at 740 Eastern, 740 for that. Again, we go back to our original times starting Tuesday, 740. Mark is getting loose. Wednesday, no bull trucks at New Hampshire. I'll be uh, racing in that one, and Thursday uh, I will not be live for the Watkins Glen truck race. Instead, I'll be running the NIS race. Uh, that is because, and here's my explanation, so if anyone's wondering why am I not broadcasting my own league, or, or me and Pops' league, uh, that's because I am going out of town for the weekend, from Saturday all the way through Tuesday of next week, or Tuesday night. So because of that, i got to be able to run the NIS race, and the only chance I can is, whoa, Dominique's in the wall! I saw him break loose and all of a sudden smacked it, and that's going to kill him. Lap 34, Jeremy Dominique having issues. Now Bobby Cheney's up to second. Let's go back and watch as Brantley's gone behind the wall. You're going to see Dominique going to come off the corner. You're going to see that back end come around right there. Bam, into the wall. But because of that, like I said, Thursday night I will be running the NIS race instead of broadcasting the truck race. So, because again, going out of town for the weekend, so I won't be able to broadcast any of that stuff. So, however, I will get that truck series in likely Friday night. You see Ducharme on pit road for an unscheduled pit stop here. Some battling back here. Oh, Cameron Meyer! As Dominique's on pit road now, so another unscheduled pit stop happening. On Brizick back here, the 57 of Connor Blaze, the 10 of Northrup, and then the 21 of Cameron Meyer. This is actually 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, all right here. So a lot of trucks in a group together here. Bobby Chaney in the second position. A lot of trucks pointed to him as a contender, but he is four seconds behind this guy. Logan Clampett at 0-4. Doing a great job this evening. There is Cheney, Marcus Richardson in third. Aaron Davis starting to catch Marcus a little bit maybe for the third position. Davis giving that one truck a run. Look at that, everybody's getting loose. Marcus tail tank slapping there off of two. Lap times pretty much everybody in 32, 33 second brackets. Now again last week. These guys were in action at Watkins Glen, ran the road course. It was won by David Shutt with damage hole, by the way. He led uh, 19 out of the, 
I was trying to remember laps. I think it was 35 in the end. I, I'm trying to remember. But David Shutt winning it. Marcus Richards in second. Both of those trucks had heavy nose damage. If you remember, they wrecked uh, on the opening laps. Bobby Cheney finishing third. Caressel, Justin Gable, your top five. And again, your point standings. Marcus Richardson leads by 49 over Bobby Cheney, 53 over Shutt. Ducharme and Roberts, Austin Roberts, that is your top five. Pertelli, Randy Roberts, Kylo Putz, Justin Gable, Aaron Davis, your top ten. As again, the upcoming races for Sim Racing Authority tomorrow night uh, at Charlotte, uh, Charlotte 225. That race will be uh, broadcasted as you'll be on board my car actually tomorrow night as uh, that race should start somewhere around 8.10 or so Monday evening. And then Wednesday, the uh, open Wheel of Death DW12 series. You might have saw them in action last night. Had the uh, broadcast for you last night. As a matter of fact, Davis looking underneath Marcus. Uh, they'll be at Kansas on Wednesday. Uh, that race will be broadcasted uh, potentially later in the week, if not next week. And then the 90 minutes of Watkins Glen on the 25th. That's their uh, next race is coming up here in the uh, very near future with some racing authority. So the lead's still about 4.3 seconds, but these two here put up a fight. Aaron Davis and, da and uh, Marcus Richardson about six seconds back. So we get ready for a round of green flag pit stops coming up shortly. So Davis got by Marcus now going to try to find him back for third on that inside. Oh, Marcus kept it off him. You know when Marcus is fighting a wheel, you know the setup's not the best. But Logan Clampett, he is uh, making it look pretty easy out here. He's dominated so far. Only the uh, two lead changes, I believe. Dominique leading at first, and then Clampett able to get the lead. And you can see he's been in the wall a little bit. Look at that rear end. There's Clampett. Here comes Bobby. There's Davis and Marcus. Jake Nichols, a lap truck. And Caressel shut. They're battling for position. This is actually for the fifth spot now. Austin Roberts there also in that sixth truck. And you see Caruso clear and shut for the position. And here comes that six. Roberts looking to the bottom of David shut. As one truck is blown up. The 84 of Nichols. And you see Davis starting to pull away from Marcus. Marcus getting loose again. Bobby holding his own here in the front as we come up on halfway.
There's Aaron Davis. Nichols taking his truck to pit road. And here comes Marcus. Let the pit stops begin. Marcus Richardson on pit road net two. He's got to fight his way through that smoke. Right side tires going on. And he pulls away, clamping on pit road now. Here comes the leader. Side tires going on. You see that rear damage just a little bit there in that 04. Aaron Davis coming to pit road. His clamp, it's going to pull away. Uh-oh. Did he get speeding in the pits? He might have. I would say he did if he's sitting there for 15 seconds. Here comes Chaney. Aaron Davis on pit road now. We'll see how this plays a role now. And Cheney going to get out of his pit stall. Good stop for him. Good stop for Aaron Davis. You see Marcus, that that uh, one lap extra that he's staying out for. Marcus going to get by Davis. Now, I, I'm looking at this, and if I'm seeing this correctly, your leader is now going to be Bobby Cheney with the penalty to Logan Clampett. Once everything shuffles back around, uh, Caressel still yet to pit. David Chutt coming up here right now. Austin Roberts. So the leader right now is the 13 right there. I'm Nick Caressel, Cameron Meyer in second. Jason Briz, I got they was just coming off pit road. But he is uh, scored in third right now. Connor Blaze, David Shut, your top five. Obviously, once everybody comes across the line here, it should cycle around. And you see the fresh tires going by right now. Cameron still yet to pit in that 21. There he is there. That is your second place truck right now. And Brizik has not pitted yet because he is in third. There he is in that 91. Connor Blaze in the 57 still yet to pit. And he's saving fuel for some reason. Don't know if he didn't think he was going to make it on fuel, so he shut his motor off to get to the pits. That could be what exactly it is. And then here comes your soon-to-be new leader. And Marcus will be up to second. You see the distance right there between Bobby and Marcus, about a half a straightaway. And Caressel now on pit road, so the leader is in. Getting his four tires and fuel. And there he goes, going to pull away in that 13. And actually going to hand the lead to the one truck, I believe, who hasn't pitted yet. There's two of them, actually. And there he comes now to pit road, Brizik. And Connor Blaze still yet to pit, so there he is crossing the line. He might receive a bonus point. He will. 
O'Connor Blaze is going to lead a lap. And Connor going to come to pit road. That'll wrap up the pit stops at lap 57. And Bobby Chaney going to cross the line. He should be the leader now. So Bobby Chaney will lead. And once this all cycles back around, I can literally tell you where everybody is. Uh, Marcus Richardson is going to be second. Aaron Davis now third. And they're actually battling for second right now. Clampett should move up to fourth, it looks like, with the penalty. Andy Sharm bringing his 69 down pit road. We'll see the splits here. Chaney leads by 3.7 over Marcus. And then Logan Clampett some 49 seconds, or 49, some 10 seconds back in the fourth position. And David shot there in fifth. That's a battle for position right there. Austin Roberts in the sixth position. Caruso comes out seventh. Connor Blaze eighth. Well, at least Nick Northrup now going to be eighth. Connor Blaze ninth, though. Connor falling down more. Everybody getting an extra cycle of uh, or extra laps on those new tires. Allows them to get a little uh, track position. Forty laps to go from Chicagoland. Hopefully, you're enjoying the race so far here for Races Only TV. SimRacingAuthority.com if you want to get details about this league. Of course, they do race every uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday night pretty much. Brand new DW12 Open Wheel of Death Series going to start on Saturdays in November. You'll be able to be a part of that. And you see these guys respect each other, race each other well on the track as they've been cautioned free 61 straight laps now. As Aaron Davis continuing to try to work on Marcus Richardson for the second position. Marcus getting out of shape. And that's going to allow Aaron Davis to get the run down the inside. Aaron going to slide up in front of Marcus here. Let's go. So, that's a slide job where I'm from. And Aaron clears them, so second place to Aaron Davis right now. As this guy continues to pull away, like I said, people were saying that it was going to be Bobby Cheney's race tonight. And right now it's his race to lose, 36 to go. The only thing that would hurt him would be that yellow thingy. And you see him coming up on Cameron Meyer, Jason Brizick there for... Uh, they are actually battling for the ninth position to put them a lap down. See everybody getting loose. Cameron going to get out of the way. And a lot of that 24 to go by. Let's start working. Look at this battle. Pick it up again. Marcus going to get second from Davis going down to three. Nice pass there. Logan Clampett trying to catch back up in that fourth position. Logan actually the fastest car in the track lap times right now. 32.279. So we'll have to see. Logan could be a part of this. 
When it's all over, there's David Shutt in fifth, Austin Roberts in the sixth position. They were all separated by just uh, about a half second to a second. And there's Caressel in seventh. He's right there with them. And, of course, Connor Blaze in that eighth. But, uh, actually, he's not in eighth anymore. He is 11th to lap down. Clampett's now down to about 9.6. He's going to need a caution if he's won a chance to win this thing. See these two battling it out. Speaking of battling out, these two are going at it still. And Marcus gets, wow. Let's hope this don't load. I knew it was going to. Get off my screen. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Trying to get little cheat sheets for me. These two putting on a show. Second and third, Aaron Davis, Marcus Richardson. Wow, speaking of show, look up here. Holy cow, three wide, four wide. Between a bunch of damage trucks. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Now the thing about it is these two keep battling. There is one truck lurking. Look at this, Clampett. There's a two right there, two and second and third. Right up there going into turn three. Here comes Clampett chasing after him. Clampett by far the fastest and loosest truck on the track. As your leader, Bobby Cheney, in the 24. Leads by 4.9 seconds over this tight battle for second. Number one, Aaron Davis, and number two, Marcus Richardson. Bobby Cheney with one win on the season. That came back at Dover about three weeks ago. As he sits 49 points behind, looking to get a little bit of a, a gain on Marcus Richardson, who runs right here in the third position. Again, next race for these trucks coming up, the Homestead 200. Actually, no, that's next season. That's the Indy cars. They haven't put the next race up, which I'll have to go look on the schedule. Next race for these trucks actually going to be at Daytona. As Jake Nichols and Eric Sable have gone behind the wall. And you see actually Clampett saying he's spending the pits. But Daytona International Speedway for these trucks next Sunday should be fun. And that race will not be broadcast live because I will be in New York. 
out of town on vacation. Twenty five laps to go. There's Aaron Davis, Marcus Richardson, second and third. And there's Logan Clampett trying to get to him. There you see the separation. And Randy Roberts in this battle back here. Look at this. David shot under attack from Nick Caressel. Austin Roberts has already worked his way past him. Now Nick trying to do the same. As Brizik with his shoes. Looking for him. He's in the grass cutting it. Oh, he's losing it again. Saves it. And everybody continues on green. Jason right now in the 10th position. You see 21 laps to go. Caressel's head for the grass. Everybody's had this issue tonight. A lot more guys will be pissed. There's Clampett. Oh, they're getting really close. Oh, Marcus. You got to be kidding me with that. Watch this. Who said we can't drift? Is Aaron Davis going to go by, by for second? That allows Logan to get even closer. And actually, that lap by Bobby Chaney was two one thousandths faster than Clampett was, so. Bobby starting in that lead has been stretched out to 6.3 seconds. With 19 laps to go. And the battle for second continuing right there. There you see your top five on the screen. And you see back here, David Shutt and Austin Roberts are battling for fifth. There's that battle about 19 seconds back. Shut on that outside. Austin Roberts trying to get that pizza truck into the top five. Not able to do so from the bottom. Meanwhile, that two truck battle is now a three truck battle. Lost as uh, Logan Clampett is now caught. Aaron Davis and Marcus. And he's to the inside of Davis. Now that's close. As Cameron Meyer with his shoes. Another one through the grass. Uh, doesn't appear so. He looks like he's okay. 
Wherever he went, I didn't find him. Well, there's Cameron down on the apron, so whatever he did, he did correct it. And let the leaders on by. And you see Aaron Davis holding off Logan. Logan going to cross it over to the bottom using that high line to get the run. And move Logan and clamp it up to the third position. Now he's after Marcus. That pit road speed penalty going to cost him a win, but it ain't going to keep him from potentially a top two. All that on the left is the live timing and scoring. Check back here on the shut Roberts battle. See where it's at. Still battling here. I think Aaron Davis has worn out his tires on his truck. Because he is starting to fall back now, a second behind Marcus. As Austin with a pretty good run. Caution! Oh no! Cheney's cussing a storm. Where is it? Really nice job on that restart. Way to keep your speed up. Oh, the caution's here. No. Marcus, what happened? I don't think the leader has the pace car yet there, so we'll get it one next time back. No. Did I just see what I saw happen? I don't know if this is, I, I'm assuming this is the reason for the caution. We're going to go on board. As pit stops are happening, let's actually, let's jump ahead to the pit stops real quick first. Get over there, here we go. Let's do this and then we'll go back to the replay. As Clampett slid to his pit stall, looks like. Right side tires going on to 24. And Chaney going to win the race off pit road. Clampett going to be second, Aaron Davis third. Now I want to go back to this.
We're going to see Marcus come to the inside right here. Let's. This will tell us the answer. Oh, no, he got loose. No contact. There was, you didn't hear the contact at all. Just to clarify, let's go to the nose. I did not see any contact there. That is definitely interesting, really interesting now. At first, I started thinking, did he really retaliate back at him? But that is not the situation that happened. That's going to set the scene here for a very wild finish here. Let's uh, go down and talk to our leader real quick. Take mic shut. Big button. Bobby Cheney, Chris Scallon, EFRO TV booth. Got a copy. I want inside. I want inside, Logan. Oh, yeah, I got a copy. Go ahead. No, I know you're coming to one to go, so I'll make it quick. Uh, can you hold off these guys for the win? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Clamp has been pretty pretty fast, so we'll give it all she got. You know, we get it, we get it, we don't. Oh, well. We'll give it. Can't go out, you know. I don't know, dude. We're just gonna go. I'll take that as a maybe. Good luck. <laughs> as you see, it, Cheney gonna be leading, coming off a of four. He takes the inside line. Logan Clampett gonna be second. Remember, restarts. They can go whenever they want. So we'll see when Cheney takes off. Shut gonna be th uh, fifth. Look at Austin Roberts up there in the fourth position. Let's see, Nick Russell going to be sixth. You got the 10 of Nick Northrop in seventh. Marcus Richardson in eighth. He's got that damage. Knowing Marcus, he could find his way up there. Let's see how this restart goes. Bobby takes off. Here we go. Marcus to the outside. The freight train gets clamp it. Shut to the outside. Contact. Clamp it back for second. He's going to get it. Here we go. Six to go. Marcus loose again off four. And Ernest, caution, caution out. out. Caution oh, out. my. Cameron Meyer, Jason Brzezik. Caresso, and now Northrop. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. There goes Meyer up in the air. But it actually starts back here with Ducharme. Him and Marcus come together again. Maybe there was contact. <laughs> but look at Marcus, jams on it. I, I, Maybe there was contact a second ago. You know, it didn't look like it. I don't know. But caution out again.
Now we'll have to see if we get a restart. If so, it's going to be probably a one lap or two lap shootout here. There's the wave around. Pits are open now. So next time by, we should get the lap cars should have their pits in her open. So we're either going to have two to go or one to go at the restart. Definitely been a drama-filled race. Everybody trying to make it to the finish here. Line of damage trucks. Cameron Meyer going behind the wall. Should be getting two to go this time by, I would think. Again, next race for these guys tomorrow night, Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Gen 6, the uh, Super Captain Chino Madness Series. You can see the race here at 810 we won't have the race broadcasted but i will be here at least racing in the race so you can come join me in racing it uh coming up here uh tomorrow night as i actually get ready to run charlotte here in 10 minutes so but uh, we'll be doing that race tomorrow night 810 the charlotte 225 for sim racing authority so make sure you check out simracingauthority.com for all their uh, fun league racing they have going on of course the indycar dw12 Open Wheel of Death Series, that'll be debuting itself. Uh, test Series opened up uh, Wednesday. You might have saw the broadcast last night, but they will be starting up uh, next, or not next Saturday, the 8th of November. Let's see if the lights go off on the pace car. They do. We're going green, and it's going to be one lap to go. North of, I'll try to real quickly here, okay? I got to get, obviously, for the restart. Watch up here to 69 and 2. That's where it starts. Right here. Bam, bam, and then they start wrecking. And then back here, more wrecking starts. There's where you get involved. Everybody starts. The camera Meyer's flying. So there you go. There's your replay. Sorry I can't show more, but I got to get this. be a two-lap shootout. Bobby Chaney, Logan Clamp, and Aaron Davis, Austin Roberts, David Shutt, your top five, Marcus Richardson in sixth, and uh, we might want to watch that 69 back there. Pace car is off. Bobby takes off. Here we go. Rolling good in front of you. Rolling good in front of you. And inside line gets a pretty good jump again. Oh, shot being pushed by Austin. Coming to the finish.
He's going to hold him off. It's going to be a second win of the season. Bobby Chaney is going to score the victory in Chicagoland. Clampett going to get second. And Aaron Davis third. They're wrecking. Brizick, Blaze. Saw Marcus get the wall. Go uh, talk to our top three. Let's start with Aaron Davis. Let's get him down here because I gotta get out of here, obviously. User was moved to your channel. Aaron Davis, a uh, top three for you. Uh, a fun race between you and Marcus. Uh, talk about your race a little bit at number one. Um, well, that race it, it was just really fun. I mean, that was ridiculous. The setup was so loose. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but the setup was really <laughs> loose, and that just provided good racing. And I was just basically following Bobby. I was following him because he was really fast, obviously. So just basically did what he did and just rode for a while. But that fight with you and Marcus, though, for second was pretty uh, wild, though. I mean, you guys were going inside, outside, almost through each other at times. Yeah, uh, Marcus, he was really good on the high side, and I was really good on the bottom. And the only way I could pass him was just to pinch him down on the bottom and get the run off the corner. And I couldn't really do that. You know, I, I couldn't do that a bit. I did it a few times, but Marcus, he just was so fast on the high side. He'd just get the big runs off the corner, and i just have to ride there. But still fun. Hard fought. Well, nice job there in the one. Send shout-out to whoever you'd like to. Uh, I'd like to send, out, send a shout-out to Bobby and Austin for putting the races on. You to uh, for uh, broadcasting them. Uh, I want to thank Dale Motorsports, my first race in the one car. Uh, Newly formed team in SRA and the Flying Spaghetti Monster and my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That a boy. Good job, Aaron. Yep, thank you. Drag yourself out. User was moved to your channel. Logan Clamp with a second place finish there in the forty four. Obviously the question that uh speeding pounding up here road, how much that hurt you? Yeah. Uh, I had like a four second lead entering. I tried getting a good entry, but instead I was speeding down pit road. Uh, I tried getting it slowed down. It hurt me a lot, but I caught Aaron and Marcus from seven seconds back, and the and he just self spun right in front of me. Marcus just self spun right in front of me. Tyler never touched him, but. I saw that Bobby was counting Aaron and shut down, so I tried on the last restart there to get him, but it didn't work out. Well, still good effort in your first race here in the 44. I think it's your first race, second, one of the two. But anyways, uh, still great efforts, and shout-out to whoever you want to. Just a shout-out to Galaxy Motorsports. Uh... Brain Hawk Racing, Doug the Nice Designs, and you guys for just hosting this league and stuff. All right, nice job in your second. Thank you. User was moved out of your channel. And we'll bring Bobby down if he wants to talk to me. User was moved to your channel. And the winner tonight, second win of the season for Bobby Cheney. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, thanks, man. It was that was a blast. That uh, and uh, Logan was a little faster than me. I was worried. I knew since I was the leader on them restarts, I it was in worked in my favor a little bit because I could control the field. So I figured we'll just go go into turn one and two and not let out. And if it gets loose, you drive through it. If not, you wreck. So that was my strategy on that. But it was fun. It was a great race. Love the setup. The setup fit my driving style perfect. Uh, everybody drove a great race. I mean. You know, we had a couple of cautions, but right there at the end, he can't, you know, when you bunch them together with that many laps to go, it's, it, you know, you're going to have them. But all in all, it was a great race. Yeah, nice job on your end, and uh, send a shout-out to whoever you'd like to. I'll send a shout-out to all the uh, Sim Racing Authority League members. It's fun, fun racing out there. Had a blast, and all the viewers that are watching, and you for taking the time to do this for us. You don't really have to do it, and we really appreciate it. Uh, it's a fun league to do the broadcast for Cheney, obviously, and you know that. And 
it was a, a great show. Uh, let's talk a little bit points wise. Uh, you're going to gain a little bit on Marcus, looks like. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's a decent points day, but uh, it's going to going to have going to have to have some more of these runs. I think to catch Marcus, but uh, we'll we'll take him. Well, just know Daytona's next week. Yep, anything can happen. There you go. Nice job, Bobby. Yep, thank you, man. All right, Bobby Cheney, your winner. Logan Clampett in second. Aaron Davis in third. David Shun, Austin Roberts, your top five with Marcus Richardson, Jason Brzezik, Nick Caressel, Connor Blaze, and Northrup, your uh, top ten. User left your channel. I knew you were going to do that. As soon as I hit that button. Error. Okay. Do, do, do. There we go. Myers, 11th. Ducharme, 12th. Roberts, Nichols, Dominique, Sable, Brantley, Ray, McCormick. You're uh, 19. Actually, McCormick never started. So there you go. That's going to wrap it up. I'm going to literally mute the stream for a few minutes. I'm going to come back. I didn't make qualifying in time for the NIS. I was going to actually qualify since it's Charlotte, but uh, I'm going to start in the back for that one and go get ready to race. So you guys are ready, and I'll be back here literally in five minutes. All right, well, apparently I'm the only one racing. That was